Спасибо, да, я понесся. Let's, um, let's begin on the top line. Nikonor nas nisim del seiso. So we, we learned that Nikonor, um had miracles with his doors. And he, all of these people that were mentioned uh, were mentioned with praise. We're referring to Ben Gamla, Ben Cotton, Hilani, Munbaz, and uh, Enikana. <clears throat> So we start Tanara Banan. Man Nisim Nasal Dal says of all of the miracles that you said that happened with Nikonor's doors. Amr they said Kishaholok Nikonor and Lavi Dal says Melexandra Shomitrayim. When Nikonor went to bring the doors from Alexandria of Egypt, apparently there were many cities called Alexandria. Yeah, every uh, place Alexander went, he made a city with his name. But this is Alexandria of Egypt, the Chazirasai, the famous city. On his return, Amadal of Nachshal Shabiyam, a storm of the sea came up to sink the ship. They took one of the doors and they threw it into the into the sea. He had he had these doors made with the um, special craftsmen in, in Alexandria. So it didn't help. The storm was still. Uh, was still uh, upset. <laughs> so Bixel Hatlas Khaverte Amadhu Bukarcha. They try they wanted to throw the other door in. If they make the boat lighter, then we'll be able to stay above the uh, the, uh, the storm, above the, the seas. So he held on to it. Karcha is like Kaira. He embraced it. He like wrapped himself around it. Amalaham Hatiluni Yima. Throw me in with it. Immediately, the sea the rested. And then he, uh, he was upset about the about the other door. Thought maybe if he would have held on to the other door, he could have saved that one as well. Given Shigil in Amala Shalak, when he reaches the port, yeah, in Amala Rashi says Porto. When he reaches the port of Akko, he submits Mivat. It was started to poke. The etimitach stefnes asvina, and it was it was like bubbling uh, from under the boat. The eshaimrim. Some say beria should be ambalasa vekiasli abasha. That some sea uh, creature swallowed it and then spit it out onto the dry land. Allah Shlaima, and this is what Shlaima says, curse Patino Arazim. The beams of our house are cedar, Rihitano, Rihitano Burusim. Our doors are made of uh, cypress wood, Burusim. And the Gemara says, I'll take your Burusim, Melabria Siam. Don't call it Burusim, cypress wood, call it a creation from the sea. Or Brisiam, Brisiam. Brisiam, there's two Taichin over here. Uh, Rashi has two interpretations. One is that either it's a covenant. Um, now, in the covenant itself, there's two possibilities. It could be a covenant between the doors, that the doors made a covenant with each other. That if uh, I don't make it, you'll, you know, <laughs> or something. Um, the other possibility is that there was a covenant with the sea. She made a covenant that it was going to help out to get the doors there. So another interpretation is that it's a briasyam, that it's a creation of the sea. That's why all the doors of the base of Middash were gold, except for the gates of Nikonar, because it had these miracles. The Yeshem Rimp Nation of Hashtim Mitzavis Haisa. And some say that because the copper was bright, shone brightly. So that's why it was it, it had a golden appearance. 
It was a refined gold, uh, a refined copper that shone like gold. Now, I saw in the Steinvelt, Kolonisa means uh, Corinth, that it came from the city of Corinth, or it was the, the copper from Corinth, which is had, had, a, had, a, uh, had a shine to it. Okay. All of that was a continuation of the Mishnah, the people that were to be praised. The ill Ignai. Now we have a new Mishnah. The following people are be, are mentioned for shame. Shall be Garmu, the family, the household of Garmu, they didn't want to teach how to make the showbread. Shall be Saptinus. We mentioned that room, that's where the Kain Gadol would, would, uh, would practice. Uh, the Kteris. Leiratzu lalamet al maisak teris, they didn't want to teach how to do the Kteris. Pugris ben Levi, hayyedeh aperek b'shir, leiratzu lamin. He knew a chapter of song and he didn't want to teach. We'll see, he knew how to sing. Ben Kamtza, leiratzu lalamet al maisak sav. This fellow Ben Kamtza didn't want to teach. Yeah, it's not... It's not by counsel. You didn't want to teach how to do the writing. We'll see. He was able to write um, with all fingers at the same time. Yeah, I think today we call it typing. <laughs> um, but he would put pens there and he could write different, uh, different letters. Allah Rishayim Namar Zechat Sadik Lebrach of Alilu Namar Rishayim Rishayim Yerkov. On the first ones, we said the memory of a tzaddik is for blessing. And for these, we say the name of the wicked should rot. The house of Garma were experts in how to do lechem upon a verb. They didn't want to teach anyone. The sages sent the Evi, Omnim, Alexander, Shalom, Tzrayim. They brought craftsmen, special bakers or chefs. From Alexandria, Vayedem Lapis Kamaisim, they knew how to bake just like they skarma. Vayedem Lidis Kamaisim, the only thing is they couldn't get it out of the oven. So that's a problem. So Shalala Masikim Machutz, Vayedem Machutz, because the Alexandrian chefs, they would heat the oven from the outside and they would also bake it on the outside of the oven. So there wasn't, it wasn't in case. Um, I guess the coals were on the outside, and so was the, um, must have been an open, an open oven. And they would bake it also on the, on the like on the top, like on the stove top. Could be. The halala masikim bifnim vayfim bifnim, the base karmu were able to heat it on the inside and bake it from the inside. Halala pitan masapshis, halala in pitan masapshis. These, the bread would go moldy, and these, the bread didn't go moldy. I, th- I guess if it was baked on the inside, it would be baked. Uh, the heat was stronger, and it wouldn't just be like a, sometimes a barbecue. Um, the outside gets done right away, and the inside uh, it's still raw. That's because it's not covered. Doesn't the heat isn't uh, there? They just have the, like the flame. So Alexandra, they were baking it on the outside. It was like a barbecue. So everything that Hashem created, He created for His honor. Everything that's called in My name and for My honor, it was created. We should bring this karma back. I guess what that what we're quoting this pasuk for is to say that everything that exists, all the talents that exist, have to be for the Ebrista. So we're going to bring back base karma. Uh, Why didn't they want to people? I'll show you in a minute. Shalchalam, mm-hmm. Iskarma said, Shalchalam Chacham they didn't come. Kafalam Scharam, so they increased their pay. Then they came. The Bechalyam made them Shnei Master Mana. Every day they took 12 Mana. Now, a Mana is 100 Zuz. Like two Mana was like a year's salary. Every day they took 12 mana. 
And today, they took 24. They wanted them back. Every day it was 24. Today, they took 48. How come you don't want to teach? Now, the sages want them to teach so that there shouldn't be a monopoly on this. And, um, you know, it can't be just dependent on one family. They could change the price whenever they want, and then we're stuck. So, right, we got to have this, be able to do this in China. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, they said, no, we're not teaching. Why not? Well, there could be several reasons, but the reason that they gave was, Amr Laham, Yedim Hayushal, we have a tradition from our father's house that this house, the base of English, is going to be destroyed. Maybe we're going to teach it to someone that's not worthy. He's going to serve idols with this knowledge. This was like the old uh, alchemy. You know, they had like secret recipes and, and no one was allowed to know. Coca Cola. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I have to put a period before that. Now, new thing. The following thing was said for praise. They never had fresh bread. So, wasn't the reason a good reason? Yeah. Yeah, so why would they the sages didn't trust them. Later on, we'll see. They, they, this was just in a, a cover-up. Mm -hmm. That's what it seems. Now, there is another version of, of reading this, another way that is the conclusion of the Mishnah saying that even base Garmu is the Tzadik Lebracha. It's the possibility of reading the Mishnah like this. And it's only those people at the end, this Ben Kamtsar, which is which is different. We'll see further in the Gemara that that's a possibility, but that's not the Pashtas of the Mishnah. So why didn't they have fresh bread in their household? Because Lakai Mashanam of Yisim Nakim Mashem Yisrael should be clean in the, in the, from God and from Israel. People shouldn't say that they are taking the bread from the Basin Mikdash. Yeah. Okay, so Beis of Tinus Loretz Alamed on my sectaris. Beis of Tinus didn't want to teach how to do the Ketaris. Tana Rabbanon. Tana Nebraisa. Beis of Tinus say you became my sectaris. Loretz Alamed. They didn't want to teach how to do it. Shalcha Chacham Mevi Evum Nemach Zandr Shal Mitzrayim. The sages sent um, experts, sent for experts from Alexandria. They knew how to mix the spices just like them. Is there a, uh, a word for someone that works with tobacco? Someone that makes uh, cigars or something? Does that have a name? Philip Morris. <laughs> they, they, knew how to, um, they knew how to mix the spices. However, they couldn't get the... Uh, this uh, the smoke to go up mm -hmm. yeah, and the Steinzeltz he has a, a bush there called the smoke riser he has a picture of it and it's actually a bush that makes the the, the smoke go straight up he thinks no it's spices spices no <laughs> So, this one, in other words, the base of Tinus, the smoke would go up straight, and of Alexandria would branch out. When the sages heard, everything that Hashem created was for their honor, which is the Pasuk of here. It says, everything that Hashem did is for him. And Vachazer Beis of Tinus Lam Kaiman, therefore, they uh, brought Beis of Tinus back. Sholchalam Chachamim, the sages sent to them Vleibo, they didn't, wouldn't come. Kafalam Scharam, so they increased their pay. 
then they came. See, the fact that they didn't come back, that's like telling. We give us more pay. That maybe it was all about the money. It was all about that. Originally, it was 12 mana. Now it's 24 mana. Rabbi says every day was 24 and today it's 48. The sages said, why didn't you teach? We have a tradition from our father's household that this space of English is going to be destroyed. Maybe we'll teach someone that's not, that's not, um, not worthy. He's going to end up serving Avay Dazara like this. Well, there was a Maskirne Silashvah. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, there was a Maskirne Silashvah. They never had a bride that was Nishmat 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 They never had a bride in this family should go perfumed. And even if the sons would marry a, a woman from somewhere else, Maskinima, they would make a condition. She liked this possum that she can't wear perfume. She liked my secretary's Mavasna. They shouldn't say that they're getting perfumed from the Kataris. Yeah, the old perfume was from, uh, from incense. They're, they're, I mean, I'm sure they had oils also, but it was um, the clothing or whatever. But they would perfume the clothing with incense. To fulfill the verse that says you should be clean from Hashem and from Israel. Tanya was taught in the Bryce, Amr Abishmal. I was on the road and I saw one of their children. Your fathers, they wanted to increase their own honor and to diminish the honor of the house of Hashem, the, the honor of, uh, of Hashem. But now Hashem's honor is still there, and it's only your house, your honor that's diminished. No, it's not one hundred percent clear what he means. Um, maybe what he meant was you were trying to get rich off the base of Migdash and to increase your honor. Now it doesn't affect Hashem. But it did affect you because you've lost all. Of, uh, you've lost everything. You don't have any income now. I guess no one wants uh, the incense. Or what was the other thing? The, uh, the bread. It doesn't say which family he met. It says he met one of them. It could be the the base of Tinas. I'm Rabbi Akiva. The monopoly doesn't pay. Well. The monopoly only pays as long as the industry exists. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Apparently, my um, my family, my mother's uh, family, would make uh, car upholstery, like seat covers, and all of that. We, I don't even know about getting seat covers. <laughs> you get the car, it comes. You, you only look at the seat cover when you get the car. <laughs> okay. I'm Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva says, Pamacha Sakhli Rabbi Shmuel Ben Luga. Rabbi Shmuel Ben Luga told me that Pamacha Sitsas Yani Bechen Mibneb Name Lasad Lakara Savim. I one time went out to the field. We were going on a herb walk and um, we we're just collecting grasses and herbs. And when he was going, Rabbi Shmuel Ben Luga was going with one of the, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Abtinas, one of the one of the grandchildren from the Abtinas family. Paraisi Shasacha Vacha, Shasacha Kavacha, or Shabacha Vesacha. I saw he was laughing and crying. Michael Abhim Abhi says, Why are you crying? Amali Kvaida Vaisain is Karti. I remember the honor that my used to have my parents' house. Why are you laughing? Amali Shasar Kaj Brahla Sirlana. We're gonna get it back. Mipneman is karta, but what caused you to remember this? Amali Malash and Kanegli, I saw that herb as we were walking. 
I saw the herb that was the secret herb. Hereoli. So I said, show it to me. I'm not allowed to show you. We have to, we have to take an oath that uh, we, have, we, won't, we won't teach it to anyone. We won't show anyone what it is about. Rabbi Yechonim ben Nuri says, one time I was walking, Rabbi Yechonim ben Nuri, I think it was at the end of the Bayez Rishon. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear to lose money on that so I should just say over that again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ramesh says it would make it would make a good movie to to um, where they got the secrets from. Okay, so. Uh, he's this Rechen Manuri says he's walking and there's an older person there. He has a scroll, scroll of, of herbs, spices. He says, from where are you from? I mean, based up Tinas and he says, I come from the house of Aptinas. He says, so what do you have in your hand? It's a, it's a scroll of, uh, of herbs. It's a recipe book. Hereoli, show it to me. Amali Kozman Shabesa Abahaya Kayamim Layim Maisim Aisel Choladam. He says, you know what? It used to be we wouldn't show it to anyone. My father's house was around, we wouldn't show it. But Achshav, Hareyullah. Now, you know what? Here, take it. Be Zarba, be careful. Shabasi Vesachti Devarai Lefnei Rabbi Akiva. When I came and I told this over to Rabbi Akiva, who sang this? Rabbi Akiva Manuri. Now we're not allowed to talk negative about them. We see now that they gave it over, that um, it could be that their excuse was correct. They didn't want it to get into the wrong hands. We can remember Benazai. Benazai says from this, They'll call you by, with your name, and they'll put you, they'll seat you in your place. And they'll give you what's yours. You won't be able to touch what's prepared for your friend. And one kingdom can't touch its friend, even a hair's breath. What Benazi is saying is, uh, don't worry about if you lose your job. They'll call you back and you'll get what you deserve. This is talking about um, the base of Tinas. That they said that uh, we'll get others from Alexandria and uh, they were replaced, but it turns out that they needed them back. So, yeah, whatever's coming to you is gonna, you're gonna get. Yeah, Benazza apparently is a follow up from the Akiva that says that really they were good people. Okay. Um, Rashi just quotes. Rashi quotes how Balshatz's kingdom was um, taken over by night. That it was exactly when it was supposed to uh, end, and also. Sachpan um, face quotes something from Yefesco. It was supposed to end by day, then it will end by day. If it's supposed to end by night, it will end by night. Exactly when it's supposed to end, that's when the kingdom ends. Okay, Hugris ben Levi, he was one that knew how to make songs. Tanik nice and Kaila ben when he would make his voice sweet, Machnes Godla Lutarpiv, he would put his thumb in his mouth. Minyachet Spoy ben Animen, he would put his finger between the strings, between the strands. Now, it sounds like that he has an instrument there as well. He put his thumb in his mouth and put his thing on, fingers on some strands. But Rashi seems to be saying that he would put his fingers up like near his nose 
and he would make some, the noise was coming from his uh, mouth and nose. That's what it sounds like. And no. Okay, Tanur Abbanan, we're starting in the Brysa. It, it wasn't a uh, big box. No. Yeah. <laughs> then come to Leirat al-Lamad al He didn't want to teach about uh, how to do the writing. Amr al Dalit Kumasin bin We said about him that he would put four quills between his fingers. The Maisa Tevish al Dalit says it's a case for Basachas, and he could write it all. Four letters he could write in one in one go. I'm like Maris Shlele Lamid. Why do you want to teach? They said Kula Matzah Shuvah Ledevreim. All of them gave an excuse. But Ben Kamtz Le Matzah Shuvah Ledevreim. Ben Kamtz didn't give, give an excuse. He doesn't have an excuse. The, ex, the other excuses were the worshiping idols. They, they didn't want to do the bread, or the the incense. This is writing the name of Hashem all at once. Well, what, what were they going to say? I don't want someone to write Baal or something. With the, like, he, he doesn't have any excuse. Well, was in that question simply how to write it? Yeah. Or the fact that he can do it? Maybe? No, to do it all at once. And there's an to do it all at once. Like, players are going to do it. You have to have the smoke. You don't have to have a lot of money. But here, I guess, you didn't write it like that, and you wrote it from letter by letter, so it was anything to do with that. I guess when you write it like that, it's more covered uh, that the name is always complete. You know? and it doesn't tell us what the. Uh, so he just had an extra talent. Right. Talent after the Kuba. No. No. Right. Oh, also, you weren't supposed to interrupt during the writing of Hashem's name, so he would write it all at once. Allah Rishayim Namar, regarding the first ones, it says, Zechit Tzadik Lebracha, Val Ben Kamta, Vechaveir of Namar, Vashem Hashem Yekub. See, from this, it looks like that maybe base Garmo and base of tennis were were accepted their excuses. Yeah. And it's only Ben Kamsar and Khaverov that they say that um, the name of the wicked should should rot. My Bashem Sham Yaqab, what does it mean the name of the Rick wicked should rot? Amar Abalasar Rik Viva is Talabishmay some rust should grow or over their names. The lay maskin bishmaya that we don't call anyone by their names. Masib Ravina. Ravina has a question. It doesn't seem like a real question. It seems like that he's bringing a proof. Maisa Bedayeg Ben Yasef. A person by the name of Dayeg Ben Yasef. Shainicho Aviv Ben Katam Le'imai. That his father left this a child to the mother. I guess the father passed away. And this child, his name is Dayeg. Every day the mother would would uh, weigh him or, or, or measure him with her uh, hand press, with her, her tefa, see how much he uh, he grew, and oh he grew, putting on weight. She would give that weight to the base uh, of Migdash. When the enemies came in, tavachte vachalte. She slaughtered the child and ate him. The women will eat will eat their uh, the fruits of their of their uh, the womb. I guess it means the children of Tefach. Um, this was referring to Zechariah that got killed. Now, I don't know what Dayeg has to do with Zechariah getting killed, but Dayeg um, was, a, was Dayeg Hadaymi was not a, a good person in Tanakh. Well, he ended up um, 
he was the one that killed out the knife, right? Um, uh, he was the one that gave the bad report to Shaul, uh, to Shaul as well. So this fellow names his son Dayan. Yeah. So what we're saying is that you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to name after someone that's wicked. Okay. Amr Abel Azar, Tzadik Me'atz Me'brasha Me'chaveire. A Tzadik is remembered from his own doings, and a Russia is remembered from his friends. Tzadik Me'atz Me'dik Ziv Zichar Tzadik Lebracha. It says the memory of a Tzadik is for blessing. Brasha Me'chaveire, Yedik Ziv Hashem Rishayim Yerkav. The name of the wicked should rot. So it's the wicked is in plural. Is in plural. That means him and his friends all get um, put together. It doesn't say shame Russia. Yeah. I don't know what the Gemara means to say with that. It means that you're an independent in righteousness, but you, I don't know what the Gemara means. Uh-huh. If it means It may mean that when people are praised, you can praise their individual qualities. You know, every uh, tzaddik has his individual uh, uniqueness. This one never stops studying Torah. This one is so kind. And this one is doubting. So they have their, each one has their own. Yeah. Amli Ravina la Humira Banan Dava Masada Gadata Kame Ravam Nuna was the same. Hamelsa Minaha Melsa Damara Banan Zikit Sadak Lebracha. Oh, it's supposed to be Rav Hamnuna Amali Ravam Ravamnuna La Humira Banan. It's not Ravina. Um Minaha Milsa, where do we know what the sages say? Zechit Sadak Lebracha. Amalei, Daksib, Zechit Sadak Lebracha. It's a Pasuk in Mishle. So, what are you asking? Where do you know this from? It's a Pasuk. It's a question, not a question. So, the Gemara says, No, Midaraisi Minalan. I know it's a Pasuk in Mishle. I want to know where do you find it in the Torah? Where do you find it in the, in the five books? Ixiv Hashem Amar Machasani Me Abraham. Hashem says, Should I conceal from what I'm going to do to, from Abraham? What I'm going to do. It mentioned Avram, right away it says a blessing. Avram is going to be a great nation. Where do you know that the name of the wicked should rot? Because it says in the Pasuk, in Mishlech, that the name of the wicked should rot. It says, no, where do you know it from the Torah? Show me an example. Put his tent uh, up uh, until Sadaim. Is this by light? Yeah. And it says um, that the people of Sadaim were very wicked. Amr Abelazar, Tzadik Darbin Shnei Rishayim, Valei Lamed Mamasayim. Rasha Darbin Shnei Tzadik, Valei Lamed Mamasayim. There's a Tzadik that lived with two wicked people and he didn't learn from their, their uh, behavior. There's a Russia that lived between two righteous people, and he didn't learn from their behavior. Tzadik Darbin Shnei Rishoyim, V'lai Lama Maseim, is Avadia. Avadia um, was the chef in the house of Achav and Izevel, two wicked people. And he hid the, the, the prophets, right? Russia, Darbin, Shnei Tzadikim, there's a wicked person that lives with Tzadikim, V'lai Lama Maseim, didn't learn from their actions, say Esau. This is Esau, he lived with Yitzchak and Rivka, both called Tzadikim, right? Unless it's Yitzchak and Yaakov, I think it's Yitzchak and Rivka. And they didn't learn from their actions. Amr Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Chassan Shal Tzadikim, at the Lamed Klal Rishayim. Rabbi Lazar says, from the blessing of the Tzadikim, you could see the curse to the wicked. Mi Klal Asan Shal Rishayim, at the Lamed Brachal Tzadikim, from the curse to the wicked, you could see the blessing for the Tzadikim. Let's go back to explain. Rabbi Chassan Shal Tzadikim, at the Lamed Klal Rishayim. The blessing of the tzaddikim, you see the curse. The tzipkiyadat l'man sheyitzave. 
It says, because I know that you'll command your children afterwards. This is Hashem speaking to Abraham. And then right away you see that uh, Hashem is going to destroy Sadaim. From the curse of the wicked, you see the blessing to the Sadiqim. It says, And then Hashem speaks to him and he says that he's going to give him uh, all the blessings. Amar Abelazar, Afil Bishul Tzadik Yachad Ailam Nivra. The Blazer says that the world was created even for one tzaddik. As it says, Hashem saw the light and it was good. Vain Taibel a tzaddik, good, is referring to a tzaddik. Shnemar Imro tzaddik kitai. Say about the tzaddik that he is good. So even for one tzaddik, the world was created. This fits like the Rambam's uh, philosophy. Says the whole world is created just for the one uh, great person. Yeah, everyone else it seems to be like furniture. <laughs> so, the Amara Belaza, Kalam Shakeh, Kalam Shakeh, is that how you pronounce it? Shakeh, Dabar Mitamuda, Igarim Galas Kuban. If anyone that forgets his learning, one thing from his learning causes exile. Shnema Vitishkach Teres, Alikach Ashkach, Panach Gamani. You'll forget the Torah of your fathers. I uh, will forget your, your children. Now, which means that they'll go into exile. We're supposed to view the Torah as, a, as an offspring, as a child. You know, it's the Torah that we acquire. And we're supposed to treat it like that. He gets lowered from his, um, his level. He gets lowered from his level. What does that possibly mean? Yeah, Atta. Oh, Hadas Master. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because you uh, despise the uh, the knowledge, so I will despise you from being a uh, Kayan. Uh, okay. I'm serving me. I'm Rabbi Barab, I'm Rabbi Echanan, ain't Sadik Nifter Minailamach, never Sadik, am I say it's Sadik? Only passes away if there's a new tzaddik that's his level. Shenema v'zara Hashem shavar shemes. As it says, sunrise, sunset. So actually, kavsa shimshi shaleli zara Hashem shal shmol aramasi. Before the sun, the light of Eli uh, uh, subsided. The 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 light of Shmuel was already had already uh, risen. That's right. We don't have any answers. I'm a I remember asking right away. People say, I don't know any answers. Yeah. Okay, I'm a Rabbi Abba Rabbi Echanan. Rock at the Sparkle, Shet the Namad Versus and Behold of Adash, Namar. It's a little different than what I remember from the Tanya. Kila Shem at Suki Ertz versus Aleem Tevo. Natanya says, Maybe it's supporting a different uh, source. Hashem said that the tzaddikim were, were diminishing. So he planted them in every generation. As it says, that diminishing or were just something There were few. There were few. So as it says, Hashem is like the mold of the earth and he puts on it its foundation, its inhabitants. Rabbi Baraba says the name of Rabbi Echanan. Rabbi Baraba was a major student of Rabbi Echanan. He says that even for one tzaddik, the world exists. Ah, there you have the passage. Maybe that's a different version that uh, I'll throw a quote. Reb Chia says we have it from here. It says he he guards the legs of the Hasidim, of uh, the righteous. The Gemara says, one second. Hasidim tuva mashma. You're telling me that it's one. 
one tzaddik is enough for the world to exist. Here it says chasidav. That's a plural. Mm-hmm. That it's written different way it's pronounced. It's written chasidai. If most of a person's life has gone by and he hasn't sinned, so he can be confident that he won't sin. The ends of the chasidim he guides, that means that at the end of the life, he is protected. If a person withstood the test once or twice and he didn't sin, He's not going to continue to sin. He won't, he won't, beca- he won't sin afterwards. That means the habit. Here, Ragli is hergel. Mm-hmm. The habit of the Hasidim is protected. If he comes to, uh, to, to laugh, to scorn, so he's, uh, he's allowed to scorn. And for the poor, for the, uh, not poor, for the humble, he gives grace. So, Bolatam uh, Epaiskanai, Bolatam Messiah, I say. What this means is that they let you mess up. But if you come to purify, they assist you. You don't have assistance to mess up. You have assistance only if you're coming for purity. Paiskanai, they allow. They allow you. They open the door. Heaven. So, Tana de Rabbi Shmal. This is taught in the Yeshiva Rabbi Shmal. Mashal Adam, an example of a person. A person is selling, uh, he is an interesting businessman. He has um, nafta, which is like a tar. Uh, what is it? Like asphalt. Right. And also a farsamain. And balsam oil, which smells very nice. All in the naf, when the person's coming to buy his uh, nafta, Amalai Midai Datalatsma, he said, go measure it out. There's a scoop and go uh, measure, put it into the bucket. Bolim Dada Farsamain, when he's coming for the balsam oil, Amalai Hampton Lea Chemdirim, I'm going to go measure it with you. We should both smell nicely. Yeah. They don't do this to me in the fish store, though. Tana de Beira Bishmal. Stodden Yeshiva Rabishmal Aveira Mitam Temesli Bishaladam. The sin clogs up the heart, uh, which means it seals off wisdom. Shinemar, it closes it, uh, locks away the wisdom from, from him uh, accessing it. Shinemar, Vlesitamu Bem and Itmesimbam. Don't become contaminated by them and be contaminated. I'll take you in the smell of any tamtam. Don't read it, become contaminated, read it, become clogged. Yeah. Tanara Banan, I'll take you in the smell of that pasik. Don't become contaminated by them. Other metame atzmai, when a person contaminates himself, ma'at, if it's a little bit, metamonis and harbe, they cause him to get more contaminated. It seems to contradict what we said before, that they don't assist them. If he does it down below, they send him from above also. You see, Rashi is answering the question that he's saying it's not that they that they um, they assist him. They just open more doors. They allow more. To, they they give him more opportunity to become contaminated. In this world, they contaminate him for the next world also. Now we have the other way. Sanctify yourself and be holy. Other Makadish Atsum person sanctifies himself Ma'at a little bit. They sanctify him a lot. Malmata down below. They uh, assist him from above. Like we said before, the Messiah, I say. And by the Mazem, Makachim Meselam Abba, he sanctifies in this world, they sanctify him in the world to come. Ajala, Amala, Mamuna. Okay. Yeah. We said he gets the perfume.